I'm Heather Beal in East St. Louis. We're gonna show you how the dances of the African diaspora became so deeply rooted in East St. Louis because of the legendary Catherine Dunham. Miss Dunham was a phenomenal woman, an educator, an activist. She saw the need for us to make connection to who we are as a people, to your whole self. I wish that people knew about Miss Dunham's legacy in East St. Louis. I want people to look on their stage and see a beautiful reflection of themselves as black people. I'm from East St. Louis with as much pride as can be. People just take care of themselves versus waiting for resources to the city like they provide the resources to suburbs. My dance philosophy is black joy. I represent how we are at our backyard barbecues, how we are in our basement house parties places that we are free. And I use Dunham technique as my vehicle to do that. Catherine Dunham is the mother of modern dance, not just black dance. She could have settled anywhere in the world and she chose to settle in East St. Louis. I grew up dancing at the Catherine Dunham Museum Children's Workshop. Growing up in a black cultural institution, words of affirmation were poured into us and they were drilled into us. So in my mind, well, East St. Louis is a city of champions. I have been affiliated with the Dunham Legacy for 52 years. Her whole thing as an anthropologist was, why do people like to dance? Ms. Dunham went to Haiti to study dance. She went to Cuba, Martinique, Jamaica, her peers were creating work based off images that they saw, posters and whatnot. Ms. Dunham actually went to these places and she captured the dances on film. I can see where it came from. Dunham technique is a Afro modern Caribbean dance technique that embodies your heart, your soul, your spirit, and your body. So there's a series of center floor work that we do, bar work, progression work across the floor. She was definitely a pioneer. She was a world maker. That's like my dance mama. She was Beyonce before Beyonce was Beyonce. It was the late 60s and she wanted to quell the violence that the young people were experiencing in East St. Louis. Dance, percussion, African study, anatomy for the performer. He had a complete program. The class just blew me away. And I was just engulfed by that rhythm. It touched my soul. It was a cultural mecca that everybody from St. Louis, a metropolitan area, came there to get that spirit, to get that, mm, and it was needed. Miss Dunham saw the value of connecting to her cultural identity. That connection is not limited to one particular place, whether they came from Africa and went to Cuba or went to Haiti or they ended up in Mississippi. That African diaspora is very important. I'm most proud of being able to, that Ms. Dunham passed her baton to me and I've taught thousands of kids. One of my favorite sayings from Ms. Dunham was to go inside every day to find the inner strength so that the world will not blow out your candle. I was that kid that 
was walking around with my head down, not feeling confident. Ruby Street had a tremendous effect on me. She engraved in me to never walk with my head down. It takes blood to be related, but it takes love to be family, and I feel like we all have that. Miss Street choreographed Maya Angelou's Phenomenal Woman. Imagine what that's like for a 15-year-old girl to embody it. You don't have any option but to be a phenomenal woman. Everybody who has come through that program has now gone on and have done things that the world and society tells us that we could not have done, but we're doing it. I did a piece right after Mike Brown was killed. That was in response to the unrest, the social justice challenges and struggles that were happening right here in St. Louis. And so it does not stop in the classroom. It does not stop on the stage. We are important voices to make a change. I have an army of people here physically with me that's powerful. You ain't even seen my ancestral army. And that's infinite. And so that's what it brings to the movement. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let us know where you would like to see if cities could dance next. Drop your comment below. We out.